G'day, it's Gussie and MG here with your questions. questions of the week. And Chris Van Elsen, MG, says, what's your opinion on the Josh Dugan drama? Um, yeah, well, I suppose like most, I'm disappointed um, with Josh. I suppose he, uh, he let uh, a lot of people down, including himself. He knows that. Um, but the thing I find the most disappointing is that he, le- he will leave a club like Canberra who always seem to be in this situation a lot of late. Um, he'll leave Canberra, probably go to somewhere like the Dragons or uh, another Maybe club. Maybe the Broncos. Maybe the Bronx and, and turn his life right around. But why can't he do it in Canberra? I mean, it's... What about the fact that his teammates said in the end, you know what, he's playing soft and we don't want him here. That's got to be the worst thing as a professional rugby league player. Yeah, that's the ultimate... That's the ultimate um, slap in the slap face. Slap in the guts, kick in the guts. Uh, when you... You know your own teammates don't want you in the team. It's time to move on. And uh, look, I hope he gets his life back together. And I know that a year at uh, your minor, away from the limelight, so to speak, made me uh, realise what I was missing out on. So mm. maybe, maybe a something similar for Dugan. Let's hope he gets back together. Okay, Dale Fisher says, will Benny Barber return a better player, even if he's back as early as round four? It's a hard question, isn't it? Mm. I, I'm not sure. Um, you know, Ben Barber, they say that uh, he could be back. Maybe this weekend even. Um, but yeah, I, look, I hope he's got his demons arrested. I, I know. How that can he though, in one month? How can you go from, I don't want to play, which is what he said to the trainer in a trial match, to four weeks later, have those demons gone? It's got to be part of the process of getting back together again, isn't it? Yeah, well, Just to be around the boys again, having that schedule, that, uh, that culture. To answer the question, I don't know whether he can play better, because I don't think he's... It, anyone can play better than Ben Barber did last year, but... Uh, I just hope, like Dugan, I hope he gets his, his together. Okie dokie. What about uh, Brody Wilson says, do you think the Cowboys are serious contenders for this year's title? Of course, coming off the back of getting absolutely their ass kicked up there at home by the storm Saturday night. Well, I did until Saturday night. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, um, I, I definitely think the Cowboys will finish in the eight. Um, Tarek Sims comes back. He's, he's a couple of weeks back from a, another leg break. Uh, they've got the best front row in the competition, the two best front row forwards. Mm. Um, got some, you know, some good young blokes off the bench. Town Bowen still goes all right at Bowen, the back there. Yeah, so definitely, definitely uh, pro- premiership contenders. As long as you've got, if anyone's got the, the name Jay Thurston in their team, uh, they've got to be considered a premiership hope. Okay, thank you. That's all your questions. Make sure you get on Rugby League Week for more questions. We'll answer them next week.